good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time this reach you, I greet you. You already know what this is, this daily content. And I kind of want to address something that keep coming up in my life. People keep coming up to me and asking me how I got such a large following on social media. And I always tell them, man, just by being myself. And they can't take that answer. Now, they think it's a trick or it's a gimmick or something like that. Or I had to be doing something that somebody else was doing to get me where I am. But I haven't. I be being myself. I don't be riding people waves. I don't get involved in the trends and all of that. And that is the advice that I give to people when they ask me how I got my following. And it be so weird to me that they don't they don't take it for what it's worth. Now, I mean it, I'm talking about in a way that you just wouldn't be able to comprehend. It really be throwing me off too because my friends and all of that, I follow their social media and they ride everybody wave but mine. I ain't seen not one of them do an EJ Come Water Challenge. Man, I would have posted it 15, 20 times for them. Nope. They want to follow the trends of everybody else. Like, and it be blowing me. I'm talking about when I say it irked my soul, right? When I seen three people that I kind of jam with in real life, right? Pull the takeoff maneuver, right? You ain't posted takeoff not one day you've been on social media. But as soon as he died and you seen everybody else getting a few views off of his death, you jump right on the bandwagon with him. And you wonder why I don't support what you got going on. Because it's not what you got going on. It's what somebody else got going on. If I done seen 20,000 people do it, what make you different? See, but I don't see 20,000 people doing what I'm doing. And the beauty of what I got going on, I swear for the Lord, I'm not doing this for attention. I just literally figured out that it's some attention that come with me doing it. You want some coffee? Like, and it's weird, right? I be wanting to tell them, but I'm going to say it in such a way that it's going to sound bad when I say it. Like, it's just gonna be horrible, man. If I just look you right in your face and tell you, man, you ain't gonna never get nowhere trying to be like somebody else. Don't nobody wanna see you be like nobody else? I stop following people that follow everybody else trends. I might as well follow the person that created it. The creator of the wave is the one that's supposed to get all the acknowledgement for creating the wave. Not you for riding it. You not gonna get five or six followers for trying to follow what somebody else did. You think you gonna be them better than they are being themselves? sickening right but you know it just is what it is i straight be wanting to show them that wave riding ain't gonna get you nowhere but i can't bring myself to do it i straight can't bring myself to do it i know my social media will probably be way bigger if i start following everybody else trends but it wouldn't be my social media no more it'll be theirs it'll be everybody that i'm trying to act like opposed to acting like myself nope i can't do it i don't want it like that let me say that. I don't want it like that. I don't want to be popular for trying to act like somebody else. It's literally people in the world that are famous for acting like other famous people. And I straight don't get that. Like, what, Papa? Come on. Come on. Come on over here. Come on over here. You want to come sit on my lap? Come on. Right? I do not get it. Right? It just kind of throw me all the way off. I don't be understanding it. Papa. Papa, you can't be in the camera though, right? Like you can't get in the camera. I'm talking, I'm talking to my social media, right? You just gonna come get over here and do all of that. Come on, all right? I, I got it in my mind that after this Robert Lee thing over with and I get another puppy, it's gonna be so many people that's trying to foster and do what I'm doing cause they gonna see how much attention it draws just for being natural and all into itself. And I know people wonder what's taking so long, man. I'm wondering the same thing, right? I swear for Lord, I had a conversation with them the other day and things were supposed to be squared away, but they not. And it's kind of irky to me because I signed up for this for that reason right there. And it just kind of is what it is, but I'm still gonna do what I said I was gonna do because I'm me. I can't be worrying about what nobody else do with, you know what I'm saying? If you do what you say you gonna do, me and you gonna be where we need to be. But if you don't do what you say you gonna do, that has nothing to do with me doing what I say I'm gonna do because I'm not you. Yep. 
And that's just what that is. And that's going to be how that's going to be. I know I use a whole bunch of terminology that be kind of going over people's heads. But it's because I be trying not to cuss. I'm extremely vulgar in my real regular everyday life because my mama cuss like every third or fourth word. But I know that it's kids that watch me. So I don't want to present that to the world in a package where I feel like it's cool. I know it's not cool. That's why I don't do it. You know that little saying, man, if you know better, you do better. Well, I know better, so I'm doing better. My actions show my intelligence in that, in that arena, right? In that direction, I show what I've learned and how I'm learning it and what I see in my regular everyday life by demonstrating it in my actions. I could tell you that I watch my mouth on social media only for the reason that it's people that watch me that I don't want to put that out into the world. Hey, 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 we will be we will be sharing around here or nobody will get anything. Do you hear me? There will be no growling. There will be no barking. There will be no none of that about these treats because everybody eat B. I don't want to hear it. Hear it. Everybody eat. I ain't going to be none of that. And you need to stop, EJ. You got one. You going to take his just because you want it? You like a person? You like a person. You showing your jealousy right here in front of my eyes when you don't even have to. And don't give me that little look like you sorry because I don't want to nope mad at you. Right. I ain't gonna change nothing throughout the day, but I am upset with you for trying to act like that. You got one and he got one. Why you go throw yours down and then go try to get his? You so bad. But back to what I was saying though, my social media is my real regular everyday life. And I got to, I'm talking about my nose running. I got to where I got by being myself and not letting the things that I see on social media motivate me or move me in a direction to go outside of who I am for somebody's attention. Just show a lot about you, right? Show a whole lot about you. And I was looking at my Facebook earlier today and I seen all, you know, Facebook memories, boy, what have you in your body. Especially me, because it shows me my posts from years and years ago when I used to be begging my friends and family to support what I had going on, and not one of them shared, not one of them liked, not one of them commented, and none of that. But they all told me in person that they used to see them, which used to throw me all the way off, but it kind of taught me something along the process that they watching what I'm doing, but they not supporting it because they don't want me to be bigger than they are in whatever world it is that they live in. Now look at the situation. Now I'm way in front of the people that I used to ask to help me and they got a problem with it. And I don't have a problem with it because in my mind, I did exactly what I was trying to do. Whether you helped me or you didn't, I didn't get nowhere trying to do what I really wanted to do. I really wanted to be a rapper. Didn't work out, I'm talking about, not at all, right? Wanted to be a poet, wanted to be an author. I'm not saying that that ain't working out like it's supposed to, but it definitely ain't as high up as I thought it would be at this point in my life. Right on the t-shirt shop, I made all this stuff, man. All the merch I got at the house and all that, man, please buy something so you can help me pay for this RV I'm talking about and support the movement because it was all made by me. I None of the things that I made were outsourced. Everything that I'm selling personally, I literally made with my own two hands. And that's what makes it special because I took time out of my day to do that. I'm talking about socks, face masks, t-shirts, sweatshirts, hoodies, all type of stuff, right? I got it. It's laying around a one of ones or one of threes or one of fours. I usually make four everything. So it's like one of, you know what I'm saying, four, and it won't be no more because I ain't making no more. I'm going to see the world, and I ain't going to let nothing stop me. And while I'm going to see the world, my social media going to get even bigger because I'm actually living my life and staying true to who I am and what I got going on. I want to see the world. I want to show the puppies the world. Any one of them that's with me. I got EJ. I got Robert Lee right now while I'm trying to put the RV together. And then when I get Robert Lee away, I'm going to take a month or two off right get everything situated with the rv and then i'm gonna try to get another one to take with me when we leave to go on our rv journey and give him away in a completely different state other than the one i'm in and that brings me to the end of this video i can't wait to get away from this city man like the hatred 
and the jealousy and the envy that comes from people that you've been knowing your whole life, man, is ridiculous. I said I wasn't never coming back to this deal in the first place when I left the first time, but you know, love will make you do stupid things. I thought I had love in this city and somebody was gonna love me for who I am, but they didn't. They loved me for who they wanted me to be. And that wasn't gonna work out, so I'm so glad that that lady put me and EJ out so I'm not caught up in that nonsense. I ain't gonna hold y'all too much longer. I'm just letting y'all know, man, like, if you in the city of St. Louis and you want to meet me and EJ, man, you better say something and you better say it quick. Because when I leave, I swear for the Lord, I'm going to do everything in my power to never return her. I prefer to die homeless in a whole nother state than I will to have a house and be set up in this one. It don't make sense, right? Not at all. You know the slogan, right? Enjoy the show and change the channel. And like I said before... I want to put this out here for people that want to know how to get an extremely large social media following. Be yourself. If your lifestyle is not interesting or you not interesting as a person, then you probably ain't never going to get to the level that you're trying to get. And trying to be somebody else really ain't going to get you nowhere because people already seen the person that you're trying to be like. But that's just me. I just feel like that. There's probably some people in the world that feel like acting like somebody else is going to get you right where you want to be. Just not me. Good day. Oh, I didn't show y'all the babies. Did I? Look at them. Look at them in their coats. Look at them in their coats. Look at the coats going on. I'm talking about the jean coat with the fur on it. Right, Robert Lee got on that. You know what I'm saying? That Canada pooch. You gotta look them up. Them coats is extremely expensive. Boy, blew my mind. But I ain't gonna hold y'all up no longer, man. Y'all have a good day and be safe, positive, and productive. You know, you know my slogan, man. Enjoy this show. We'll change the channel.